Hey, good morning. It's um, Dr. Bob Flower with their, your Master Pattern Report for Tuesday, uh, March 18th. Um, okay, so let's see how we did uh, the past couple of weeks. Uh, we finally got uh, oil making its move downward. Um, it um, uh, We went short, as I mentioned to you, around 100, went up to jumped up there to about 104 with that uh, Ukraine business, but it's down to uh, 97 and change, and we're still looking for a bottom down around 92, somewhere in that area, 9150, 92, 9250 area. So we're continuing our, our short play there. Uh, our call on uh, uh, March 3rd for silver was uh, right on target, was almost up uh, 2% or was up uh, over 2% and uh, also our call on the S&P for the, the third, March 3rd, um, was, uh, was a turnaround uh, uh, date, uh, market started uh, a, uh, a good up move from there. Uh, the, uh, the, the uh, sixth, our call on, we call for, if you remember, bonds on the fifth. And they made a, a, a huge move uh, on the sixth, right? so we're right in there. Now, uh, concerning that move on the uh, on the tenth that we had been predicting, uh, one of two things happened there: either it had occurred on the prior trading day, which was a Friday, um, which I think the market was up something like 180 something points, or uh, we were a couple of days late, and it occurred on the thirteenth, which, if you recall, that was like one of the big hit days, the market was down 236 points, something like that. Chances are that that was the date and we uh, we missed that date uh, by, uh, by a couple of days. Um, in the future, when I'm going to use that particular model, which, uh, and, and also, we had the direction wrong on that. Uh, the past three um, key points uh, on the, on the pattern were all up uh, up moves and we said that it was 75% chance that this would be an up move as well. Well, it wasn't, of course. It was a, it was a down move, but that's why we do uh, hedges and spreads, okay, uh, to protect against that and to be able to capitalize. Okay, so in the future, what I'm going to do with uh, uh, predictor model calls of that nature is uh, I'm, I'm going to give you a date and let's keep it within that week right? because these are generally uh, moves that are two, three, four, five months in advance. Right? And I, I do have one more for you coming up. So um, uh, it, it, it looked pretty good. Um, and, uh, that was that was a good move, and uh, hopefully you we, people we weren't in on on uh, the S and P on that particular move, but um, uh, we will be on the next one. And I'll tell you why. All right, so uh, now let's look at what uh, we have coming up for us uh, shortly. As far as oil, we see uh, we're playing it to the downside uh, for sure, and um, we see a move coming up on the 28th of March uh, next week. Uh, silver, we see two, two uh, meaningful moves coming up on silver, the 27th of March and the 31st. Uh, the S&P, we also see a move on the, on the 28th and uh, February 3rd, okay? Um, I, I, by the way, we, the S&P, uh, we know that uh, there's been a lot of bad um, sentiment and uh, a lot of negative things and uh, we think that what's going to happen is regardless of how bad the uh, uh, the news comes we th we think that there, there's a there's a very powerful energy here we think we're gonna we're gonna hit the 1885 1886 uh, mark on the S&P and that that will happen uh, uh, before the 15th of, uh, of April. So we're, we're looking at some, some you know, a, a decent up move to then before we start seeing a pullback. 
Now, remember at the beginning of the year we said that we thought that April was going to be uh, a negative month, and um, right now it does look like that's where we're headed. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if that at this meeting of the Fed or the next meeting we see an interest rate rise as well as a pullback further um, on the uh, on the QE uh, expenditures, we think we're down to 65 billion a month. That probably will continue uh, down another 10 uh, billion uh, is, is our uh, our estimate. And we think that you might see a little slight uptick here, if not this month, next month. And we think that that's what might cause the market to get uh, very nervous and uh, make a turn. Okay, so. Uh, Let's talk about uh, the state of affairs. I, you know, I, I, I have not been talking too much about politics, only about very significant areas. Um, but this is um, how real can you get uh, conversation. Um, this whole thing with the Crimea was a setup. The, our president was in on it. This was a giveaway uh, to the Russians. Uh, and if you have any doubts about that, just look at the facts that preceded this whole, um, this whole movement uh, by, by um, our, our, our leader. You know, the, the biggest one being that non-proliferation treaty where we were going to put the missiles into Poland and, and to Ukraine and Georgia. And it didn't happen. It was canceled by our guy. All right? And now he's coming out with these big, big sanctions. Ten people, individuals, are going to have their bank accounts leaned. Okay. So, so much for honest government and so much for the big major changes that are coming in the world. Right? Um, I think that what's happening now is people are, um, I, I think that they are uh, not getting um, the message of the millennials. I think what's happening is that the, that the old establishment, both, both parties, uh, are, are falling so far behind that the millennials are, are going to take over, and I and I and I honestly mean that. Um, I, I think they're going to change things rather dramatically, um, and 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 that that movement is already uh, in the works. Um, so keep keep your eyes and your minds open to that. Um, you know, there's been a lot of uh, degrading of uh, the uh, these youngsters. But I, I, I don't, I'm not buying it. There are things, of course, that are wrong with every generation. But I, I think that these kids are, are, are going, to, going to pull something off here. Um, and I'm 100% I'm, I'm with them uh, in, in that respect. Um, okay, so now uh, business with Bob, Dr. Bob. Uh, if any of you are interested in, or if you're in business, or you want to get into business, please contact us. All right? We are moving more and more people into business. We have our own shark tank. You know, you can call it the, the Barracuda Pool if you want. But we have more and more people who are interested in investing in uh, inventions. Um, you know, I've got a couple of things going myself, which I'll share with you in a, in a couple of weeks. Very interesting. And we have people that are having problems with business that need help. They need financial help. They need uh, guidance. They need uh, direction. Uh, they need contacts. Listen, call them. Call me. Get in touch with us. We can and will help. All right? and, uh, and if you're thinking, if you have an idea for a business, send it to us. Let's see. Maybe, maybe we, can, uh, we can do something. Maybe we can help you make uh, your life a little better and you can achieve uh, at, a, at a greater level. Okay, we're going to see you next week before we head back out to the great, uh, to the great west. Have a good week.